Don't look now, but if you have Charter, you turn on the Cardinal game tonight, it might not be there. Charter and Fox in an epic battle over rights fees. Carissa Pavlika from TVFanatic.com joins us. Good morning, Carissa. Good morning, McGraw. Let's talk about this Fox thing because this hits a lot of people close to home, whether it's the uh, Blues playoff games or the Cardinal uh, games now that uh, baseball season's back. What are you hearing on this deal? Well, you know, all of these carriage deals are just a real pain in the butt to us in these last, what is it, five years since we've done that turnover of the uh, – of the over-the-air stations for digital. Okay, it's, okay, it's been a while, but yeah, but yeah. Uh, well, it's essentially you know we're we're kind of held at the at the throat by the the networks, the owners of the networks, and the carriers. Uh, I tend to fall on the side of the networks, especially the over-the-air networks. Right? If if I've got a satellite dish. The, the I should be able to get my over the air channel pretty easily, right? There shouldn't be a disruption since no, it's over the anymore. air. No, not anymore. Right. Not anymore. Right. Right. Yeah. But I should be able to. No, not anymore. That's what I mean. Remember, whenever they gave us all those, uh, the the United States made us give up. Right. The di right, and and went to the digital channels. It, and we went to the digital channels. Right. Now that there's digital channels, it's it's not easy to get channels anymore. So it's not as easy as just plugging your TV in and strapping up some rabbit ears. <laughs> no, I understand that. But but so the cable companies are in a battle royale with the networks and we're all the losers for it. Right. Yeah. We're 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 big time losers. I mean, in my area, I haven't had ABC. I'm, I'm going into my second month now. Really? And and I have I I get NBC, Fox and CBS. Over the air, but so, I cannot get ABC. So like, how do you just, how do you get ABC? How do you get ABC? Do you get it um, uh, uh, streaming afterwards or what? No, I just haven't watched it in over a month. You just haven't watched anything on ABC in over a month. Not a thing. How'd you watch the end of The Bachelor? I didn't. Oh my goodness! Breaking news here on the Big Five Fifty KTRS. <laughs> uh, Carissa, also the also the interesting thing is with people dumping cable in record numbers. Those fees are going away, so you can see how the networks and the cable companies are fighting over these fees because there are less fees coming in. You know what? They're fighting over fees, but at the same time, networks like CBS are also creating their own online networks and getting even more fees. And in doing that, they are charging people the same amount that they would charge a carrier to get the business and they're putting shows on those networks that aren't going to be available to any carrier so it's interesting so uh, there was recently yeah i mean they're, they're making it up somewhere else in, in some way right. yes they are well okay those are the networks but what about the secondary channels the espns the the bravos the e networks right they're losing their fees because less people are paying those cable fees Right. I, I, I don't think uh, – what they're doing is they're, they're signing on to the skinny packages. Right. You've heard about them, right, the skinny bundles? Right. And, and they are online deals like Sling. You, you can get Sling, and now Hulu even has one where you can get streaming channels on Hulu mm -hmm. and streaming channels on Sling that are online streaming channels, and networks like those are covered. Right. right. What about the local channels, though? On that, no. Yeah. See, that's the that's that's yeah. the rub. And, you still and really, the, the, the people who who are losing out of all this are the local channels, because they're owned independently by large corporations. They don't have antennas that are large enough to cover their areas. Right. Because the antennas have to be. I don't know how big they have to be. I live, I live very close to the channel that I'm not getting. And I can't get it. Yeah. yeah. And the old put the antenna up on the chimney years ago was very different because now you need some type of HD antenna and it doesn't work. Right. And it's, yeah, it, right. it's, it's, it's an issue and it's coming to a head with, uh, but the bigger problem is that people might not be able to get Cardinal games on a Tuesday night here in St. Louis. And, and is there, is there any, um, can you get ba a baseball channel on like one of the dish 
Uh, you, you, like yeah, well, or... right, right. Well, this this would be a charter spectrum issue, so you would have to drop it and then get whatever else. But it'd take you a couple days to get that. So yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, at least there's that option. You certainly don't want to get in the way of a Cardinal fan and their TV coverage. That's for sure. No, it doesn't seem so. Yeah. Uh, by the way, thanks to you, I started watching the leftovers. Um, that's really good, by the way. Which which have you what I, have you watched so far? I just watched the first three or four episodes. Okay, well, hurry along <laughs> hurry with the rest up. of the group. Yes, because season two knocks season one out of the out of the park. I mean, there's not even uh, it's the best reset in all television history in my in my mind. And season three premieres next weekend on HBO. It does it premieres on Easter Sunday, which is very apropos because it's all about faith and i don't mean religious faith i mean faith in yourself and mankind yeah. and in your own belief system it's really good it's the first two or three episodes it's really really good uh better get saul is beginning its third season on amc tonight yes it is is, is that any good well people who watch it love it um a, a breaking bad character is joining the cast Oh and yeah, the other guy, the 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 the, the good old other guy. Yeah, yeah the, the, you know the him. bald other guy, the bald older guy, the bald old guy. But, no, um, I'm talking Giancarlo Esposito oh. as Gus Fring. Uh huh. And apparently, we're gonna see Gus as we've never seen him before, which would make sense because it's a prequel, and he's gonna play a younger, vulnerable Gus who's finding his way to being the kingpin that you meet Breaking Bad. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I want to ask you about girls real quick. I thought while watching Girls last night that that was the series finale. It would have been a good series finale, wouldn't it? It would, would have almost have been a good season finale. For for Hannah, anyway. Yeah. But... But we have one more. We have one. So next week is it. Do we any? I mean, it was sort of like a. So she she moved upstate. Uh, well, I don't want to ruin it. Where was um, Adam Driver you last night? I, I guess maybe his. Well, no, his story's not over. I guess maybe we're going to find out what happens to him and Jessa next week. Did I did I, did I miss something? Um, did did Hannah reject his overture? They they kind of just came to the realization that it was a pipe dream and that there was a reason why they weren't together. That's why they were crying at the table last week. Gotcha. Okay, because because I thought he they said never they never said it in words. Okay, because he sort of said, "Hey, we should think about getting married," and then the next thing, the next scene, and I thought I missed something. So it was implied that she said thanks, but no thanks. It was implied that they both did really. He said we should get married, and then as they kind of gazed at each other across the table. They both started crying. Right, and then and then the next scene, he's he's talking to the other girl through the window from the stairs. Yeah, yeah. right. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, you really got to watch that show to pay attention. Uh, Carissa Pavlika, anything else we should pay attention yeah. to? Well, there's last night was the season finale of of Homeland, and that didn't do fans all that happy. Oh, hmm. how many? I I stopped watching it a long time ago. I, I didn't even know it was still on. I, I didn't watch this season because I, I was angry at what happened at the end of last season. Is, and if I was angry at the end of what happened last season, fans are going to be up in arms at the end of this season. All right. Um, major character death, which has already been teased once. And so it's the old bring them back and just kill them. Homeland is kind of no, no tourist. Kill them for, kill them for good. Homeland is kind of un, uh, a notorious for killing off all their favorite characters. Yeah, and and I'm talking about the the favorite character, if uh, you can, with, uh, without na without naming his name. Not Saul. So not um. Not uh. Not not uh, Saul. No, no. Is, is that no? Who who? Uh, not uh, Mandy Patamkin. No, no, he's not. He's not the favorite character. Oh, all right, fair enough. All right, uh, so Homeland's finished, and then uh, we got Girls season. Finished.